tradition. If it's over someone's head, then you get to kiss them. It's a holiday custom practiced by parents, grandparents, and that guy who dances around with a lampshade on his head during Christmas parties. Anyway, did you know that mistletoe is poisonous? If you eat some, it'll make you really sick. Even sicker than watching people smooch under it. Well, I learned about the mistletoe tradition when Tubby held some over my head and told me I had to let him kiss me. I learned something else then, too, that you can really cram a lot of mistletoe into someone's ear. Just ask Tubby. <laughs> Mom, why'd you throw your nice pie on the ceiling? <gasps> that was Tubby's present. Why'd you go and cook his football? George! George! Yeah, yes, dear. Why do I have to get the Christmas tree now? Because I have a lot to do today, and Lulu doesn't. So, what can I do now, Mom? You can help me get a Christmas tree. Yahoo! I'll meet you in the car. Come on, come on. One more try. What are you doing with my saw? Well, we're going to get a Christmas tree, aren't we? Yes, but at the supermarket. Ah, you don't need me for that. I'll go help Mom. Okay, okay. We'll go cut one down someplace. Just think, it'll be free. That'll be ten dollars, mister. Right, free. Let's go find our tree, Dad. Maple, oak, ash, beech, elm. Gosh, no Christmas trees, and we've been driving for miles. I know. Oh, I know. Lulu, look! Hooray! Look at all of them! We can pick the best one! Lulu, what say we? But you said we'd cut our own tree. Well, you know what they say. Where there's one, there's probably lots. Don't wreck the car. We needed to carry the tree. Isn't this great, Dad? But it's gonna be hard to choose. They all look the same. I was hoping that would make it easy to choose. <laughs> Ten bucks for gas, but now I have to get new pants. This is going to be the most expensive tree in history. Come on, Dad. <laughs> What'd you find, Wolf? Hmm. This is from someone's pants. Trespassers. Fine. Leave some for me when you find them. 
What about this one, Lulu? Nah, too skinny. And this one? It's all bent. <laughs> what about this one? But it's huge. Lulu, don't shake that tree. Oops. Sorry, Dad. But we don't have to take the whole tree. We can just climb up and cut off the top. I draw the line at climbing trees. Was that... I don't know. This is all my fault. We should have bought a tree at the supermarket. Now, now, dear, don't cry. Here, let's saw off the top just like you wanted. What's the point? We'll never get down with that wolf there. You never know what might happen. Come on, let's climb down, get our tree, and get out of here. Ah! Ah! What are you doing on my lot? Well, uh, you see, my daughter here wanted to cut our own Christmas tree. And my dad wanted to save money. Well, come on down here and we'll work something out. But my trees ain't free. Get a Christmas tree, she says. Ten dollars for the tree, ten dollars for gas, and new pants. This is the most expensive Christmas tree we ever got. George, could you and Lulu go get a turkey now? Oh, boy, that's gonna be a lot tougher than getting a tree, Dad. Why is that? Well, turkeys are pretty hard to catch. Christmas can be pretty stressful for us kids. First, we have to behave all year long or Santa won't bring us any presents. Second, we have to wait for what seems like forever to get them. And when we finally do open our presents, grown-ups tell us we have to share. Well, most kids aren't too big on sharing, but I don't mind at all. Just as long as I'm the one they're sharing with. <laughs> you gotta like Santa. I mean, here's this fella who travels all around the world bringing kids presents, and what do we give him in return? Milk and cookies. He must eat a ton of milk and cookies in one night. There's a lot of kids in the world. But if you think about it, it's not a very fair exchange. We get toys, and Santa gets fat. Who said that? If it isn't Naughty Annie and bad old Lulu. Ah! Ah! Lulu, that snowman talks. Well, well at least it's gone. Ah! Now don't go yelling like that. L Lulu, it, it's, it's talking. 
I'm not an it. I'm Santa Snowman. Can I have my button back? What's a Santa Snowman? I report to Santa on who's been naughty and who's been nice in this town. You spy on kids for Santa? Yep, but I'm not the only one. Ah! Ooh! We're keeping an eye on bad little kids like you, Jeannie and Tony. Of course, I could be persuaded not to tell Santa about how bad you've been. Like if you paid me. You better do better than that. Okay, hold it. How about if you pay me to tell Santa to bring you whatever you want? Hmm. Deal. We have to give you money so you won't tell Santa we've been bad? Just a suggestion. That is, if you want any presents this Christmas. Come on, Lulu. Let's go get our piggy banks. <laughs> I mean, ho, ho, ho. I see you two are off to do some last-minute shopping. No, Officer McNabb. We're just making sure we get presents by giving all our money to Santa's snowman. Must be some kind of Christmas tradition I don't know about. And where are you two off to with your piggy bank? To Santa's Santa snowman. Or else he'll tell Santa, Santa how naughty we've been and we won't get any presents. presents. Though you've been a lot naughtier than I have, Joni. What in the name of Christmas? Snowmen cheating little kids? This is great. We can be bad all year. Pay off Santa's snowman, and Santa won't know nothing. <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to this. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Hey, there's someone in there. It's a kid. Off of me. Get off of me. Santa will find this most naughty. Come on, let's get him. Tubby, Iggy, uh, I mean, you are the Santa snowman. You better not double cross me. Santa snowman, make a run for it. Sorry, kid. Gotta go. Why you? Come on, Tut. I mean, snowman, time to run. Yow! It was all a trick! Now, what's this I hear about you cheating kids out of their savings? The silent type, huh? Well, we'll see how quiet you are downtown. Why are you breaking my snowman, Mr. Policeman? What have I done? Oh, wait, wait! Make like snowman! Ha! <laughs> that fool! Hey! Doesn't seem like very Christmassy behavior. What would Santa think? He's right. We shouldn't be fighting over money. We should be thinking about giving instead of taking and getting. We're sorry. Here you go, mister, from all us kids. Well, Merry Christmas to you. That was a pretty good trick, Tubby. Yeah, good thing there isn't a real Santa snowman. He would have told Santa all about it. Whoa, Dancer. Whoa, Prancer. Merry Christmas, snowman. And a Merry Christmas to you, Santa. So, have they been good little boys and girls here? Oh, very good. There was a problem with some of the boys, but that worked out just fine. The famous Christmas turkey tradition goes something like this. Is it cooked yet? I think it's cooked. Then let's eat. Hey, it's not cooked. 
And then everyone argues about who's going to carve. Don't they know that he who carves gets the pieces no one else wants? <laughs> then everyone comments on Mom's delicious meal. This piece is too dry. The gravy's too greasy. There's not enough stuffing. Finally, when dinner's over, everyone sings Christmas carols to entertain Mom while she cleans up. Well, Mom's pretty fed up with the turkey tradition. So this year, she said she's starting the help out tradition. Help out, or she'll stuff the bird, all right, down your throat. And then my parents came home. So I wrapped up all the girly presents. Placed them carefully in the closet. And put everything back where it was. Well, almost. <laughs> Did they catch you snooping? Nah. They didn't suspect a thing. Tubby, why would your parents be giving you girls' presents? <gasps> How can I know what parents think? All I know is... my Christmas is ruined. But, Tub! Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. We're just stepping out for a while, Lulu. We'll be back soon. Bye! Poor Tubby. But it serves him right. I'd never peek at my presents before Christmas. <gasps> A racing car set? I didn't ask Santa for that. These are all boy things. Fine, dear. Hmm. Hello, Mrs. Tompkins. Mrs. Moppet. I was just about to call you. I caught my tubby snooping around the Christmas presents. Lulu, too. Poor dear, she looked very upset. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen Tubby. Serves them right. We'll switch the presents after the snoopers are asleep, and then they'll be so surprised they won't know what happened. Tubby! Tubby! Oh. <coughs> oh, my Christmas presents are boy presents, Tubby! This is terrible, Lulu. What are we going to do? Hey, you got girl presents, right? And you got boy presents. Ha! Ah, we'll, we'll just switch. switch! I'm going right to bed to make Christmas morning come faster. Sleep tight, dear. If you hear noises on the roof, it's only the reindeer. <laughs> hmm. 
When is Mr. Tompkins coming to switch the presents? In a little while, dear. Open sleigh, hey. No more mixed up presents. <sighs> Will those kids be surprised in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> After all that, and it still didn't work. These Christmas presents must be haunted. I guess we better call the Moppets. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Tubby Lou! Look at what I got! Oh, 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 no more trading closets to hide oh, presents. And no more peeking at presents at Christmas time. But I'll peek at my birthday. Presenting Lulu's list of the top five things you don't want to hear after you open a Christmas present. Number five. Your new snowsuit doesn't look that bad on you. Besides, who's going to recognize you in a blizzard? Number four. I knew you'd love it. Now, quick, give it to me before you break it. Number three. We couldn't decide between a new bike or new skates, so we got you underwear instead. Number two. Don't worry, we can send away for the English instructions. And number one. Oh dear, I guess Uncle Ernie's forgotten if you're a boy or a girl. Thank <laughs> you. 